Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, I want to show you how we can create recursive view 3 component. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, let's understand the scenario. Let's say we have this post and the, this post is going to have comments. Now, generally when you have comments, there are replies for some comments and then again, there are replies for some comments. So it's going to be like a nested data structure. So if I show you here, I have created a sample data set. So this is our post that is coming from JSON placeholder API. But let's say we have comments for this particular post, something like this, where we have comments. And then this ID2 will have, sorry, this is, should be here. And then we have ID3. And then for ID3, there are again comments. Let's say there's one comment. And then again, there is a comment for ID5. So it's going to be like a nested structure. So how we can create a recursive component where we can reuse the same component to display the same thing. Because this comments is nothing but we will be displaying the name and title. Maybe if there is a user avatar, then we can show the user avatar. But we'll be just repeating these things. So what I'm going to do is inside comments. Here I'm going to write our component. So simple JavaScript component, it's going to be simple view three component. And here I will have props. So define props that will be comments and that's going to be an array. Now what's going to happen is if you notice, we have a nested data structure. So this is as good as saying we will be calling the function recursively. In other words, we'll be calling the component recursively or function recursively so because you can treat view components sometimes as a functions. So they are treat them like a function where you will be calling this component recursively and there need to be a terminating condition. Okay, so uh, GitHub Copilot already did the job for me. So what we have here is this is the terminating condition actually. So what we are saying, we will only re-render this component inside itself if the comments each comment if there is a comment associated for that comment because if you notice the data structure is pretty much same id name text id name text and whenever it come across comments it's okay so there will be again this comments component will be re-rendered inside itself they will have id text id text and then again comments and again re-render so it's going to be right it's just going to re-render itself now if you don't give such terminating condition for components then it will go in an like a infinite loop and then it will go for memory leak and it will throw errors and whatnot or even it won't even render your ui so definitely make sure you have a condition that terminates this loop because that's what the purpose of recursive functions as well like there is a terminating condition so now let's give this a try so if i go over here you will see if i refresh the page nothing is displayed because we haven't brought in that comments over here so let's bring that over here so I'm going to say import comments from comment and here we can give the comments. So now if we see that, you'll see we have the comments, but they are like one after the other. We don't know which comment is nested inside which comment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give whenever a new comment starts, let's give some margin left off. Let's say five. And now we know, okay, so this is these are the main comments then inside this there are replies and then there is reply now this structure is very useful not just for comments but also for let's say file folder structure if you want to display file folders because if you notice the structure is pretty much the same it's just we give left side spacing and you can also use it for another structure so this structure is very useful if you want to display uh, like display data which is in a tree like structure because it's a tree like structure so this is how you could have recursive components in view. So that's all in this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you feel this video is worth sharing with your network, please do share with your network. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. So see you in the next video. Till the next time. Goodbye.